Can you do a video, please, about martial arts in social life and showing off? When they say showing off, I'm assuming they mean showing off your martial arts skills in a, in a public space. Um, I'm definitely a little bit torn on that. So I'm not, I'm not sure where the lines are drawn here. You talk about just being public about your martial arts or you're talking about doing demonstrations or showing off. But my gut reaction is I generally like to keep my martial arts a little bit private. I mean, if I'm out with friends or talking or just talking in a casual conversation, that's one thing. But when it comes to like performing it in public, I think there's some cautions to take there. Um, what, what do you think about that? Well, I mean, well, you know how how it is. Is like when you first start learning something. So, you know, I have a, I have a funny feeling that they're if they're new into the, the martial arts or new to a certain art, you want to show it off. You, you, that's what you, you th you're thinking about. That's what you're talking about. Every conversation you're talking to, you know, your, your loved ones, and you're like, oh, that reminds me. And it, 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 you got to remember, they they may not be into it as much as you are, and that gets obnoxious. Um, but also too, with the showing off, it, it, yeah, it depends. Um, if you're trying to use it to, to, you know, sh because people are showing interest in you, if people are showing interest in martial art, or you're trying to advertise and market your school or in a positive and reinforcing way, it, it, it could be a good thing, but very quickly, it can be one of those things where it's quite, um, I don't know, uh, the proper word inappropriate <laughs> yeah and, and and grading and more or less you know you, you're you're the guy pumping their chest and, and, and backing up you know so you're, you're you're reminding me of a story you told me years 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 back that you said when you were like young and you you and your friends went out to like the clubs if there was a, a local karate guy out there and he was doing he was like drunk or high and he was doing kata out on the dance floor. yes yes he was <laughs> Yeah, he was doing yeah, he was doing kata on the dance floor and of course, you know, then everyone's just like, What is this guy doing? Yeah, he's sitting there doing <laughs> he's doing kata to like as a dance. I, I we I, I don't know to this day what he was thinking or what he's doing, but everyone is just kinda like, Oh god, okay, stay away from this guy. He's he's not right in the head. So <laughs> and, and I you know I and I say he was drunk or high or something, but I, I don't know. But that's just a, that, that's that's the thing. He could might have been just having a good time and having fun, but mm -hmm. you just you know it, it, you got to do things appropriately. So, and yeah. and if you're starting new, you're starting off probably less is more. <laughs> time. Yeah, probably. Well, I I when I was in high school, um, there was a kid in my class in my journalism class, and he had just started taking karate to local school. And this kid, he had his own his own share of problems. He, he didn't have the greatest home life and not the greatest sense of judgment, but he had just started taking class and we had come from a lunch break and we came into the classroom and we're sitting down and he's going up to people saying, Hey, I just started learning karate. Will you throw a, a punch at me so I can block it? And I, I had to kind of pull him aside. I'm like, dude, what are, you, what are you doing? You're just asking for trouble. And he's like, well, I want to see if this works. I'm like, you're in a school classroom. You're going to ask the wrong person. And you're not going to like the answer to that, especially yeah. when you're starting. But I, I think in his case, it was a confidence issue. He definitely had a major complex. And like I said, his, his, he, he came from an abusive family. Um, he had a lot of self-esteem issues and confidence issues. So I think he was using that to kind of, I don't want to say posture, but almost kind of gain a little bit of respect. But what, it was having the opposite effect on that. And I think it was going to put him in more of a dangerous situation. Because, again, he had just started. He had like a week under his belt. So he wasn't going to like – be able to really defend himself if something happened, but I'm like, this is inviting trouble. And I think that's one of the threats too. When you, when you get to the point of showing off, if you're saying, Oh, I'm a martial artist and you're showing off. And if you're at in the public setting and you start doing it, you don't look as cool as you probably think you do. I mean, if you're trying to show off for the people, most people aren't going to be that impressed. And I know some people might do it to show, look how good I am. You don't want to mess with me. But my perspective on that is if you're trying to use it as a deterrent, the type of people that you would want to detour are not going to be deterred. They're going to actually take that as a challenge. So you might actually invite trouble with that. Yeah. Actually, uh, one of the stories my, my father used to tell me is, um, and my father is a, is, a, is a pretty big guy. You know, he's, he's six two. And he talked about when he used to work back in the day when he was a young kid and he would work at a grocery store uh, that there was a guy that would tower over him. So he, so my dad's six two, so this guy's got to be pretty big. He said he towered over him like another three to five inches. So he was a 
big, big guy. So he said that every night when they would close up, he would ask him, could you walk me to my car? Could you, you know, you know, walk me out when I close, you know, close the store. And finally, he's like, you know, you're so big. Why do you want me to walk you out? And he goes, because I'm so big, everyone keeps picking on me because they think I'm the challenge. So wow. he's like, if there's two people, they're less like they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't find me threatened because when I walk out by myself, I'm the big guy. He says, all the all, all, all they want to do is start a fight with me to prove this because the newest people want to prove themselves so they can beat up the biggest guy. So they, they have something to prove with it. And so, right. yeah, so the, the challenge is there. So if you're walking around showing off moves and that kind of person's around you, they're not going to be impressed. Yeah, exactly. It, it, <laughs> so, yeah, they, 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 yeah. And if, if you're starting out and you're doing it, you know, you might not have the skills that you need to, uh, you know, defend yourself. Yeah. It's, it's, so you know, it's, I hate to say it, it's not Cobra Kai that you learn to watch a window and, <laughs> and, and and sweep the floor and jack up a car that you can defend yourself off of three uh, three people at once. You know. That's, Are you telling me I've been doing chores all my life for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Have you been doing it the right way? Have you been washing the? the not window? very well. <laughs> Just. <laughs> yeah, you you want you want me to ask Tracy? She'll probably tell me the truth. Yeah, she'll be <laughs> like, "Hey, what?" She'll say, "What chores?" <laughs> <laughs> No, but this is funny too because like we're talking here about like showing off martial arts in public. I don't even like going out anywhere in my uniform. Like even after class, I see I know people who will go to the grocery store, who'll go out to eat, and they'll just wear the uniforms. I'm like, I can't. No, like to me, I'm like that. I don't, one, it doesn't feel appropriate because I don't know. Like it's you're, you're kind of walking around in pajamas, but it doesn't feel like appropriate dress. But two is like I don't want to walk around in my belt and my gi for the same kind of reasons. You're you're not showing off. It's not really going to impress anybody, and if anything, it might just invite trouble. Yeah, so, and that's just I, I, that's just me. I, yeah, I can kind of see it one thing because it is really comfortable. It is. It's like wearing pajamas. So, yeah, I can see it. I, I can see that in some sense, just because you know, just just wear pajamas around all day, <laughs> all day. Bring a pillow I mean, and sleep. They are but, mighty comfortable. <laughs> but yeah, no, and, and the yeah. Now, if you're trying to do it where, like, if he was talking about, like, doing, like, showing off as in, like, public, like, you you were part of when you're in uh, high school. What was it called? Uh, oh, the, the demo team. The demo team. Yeah. Yeah. So that might be, you know, that's a different thing. That's kind of a marketing thing. Yeah, Even but there's also it's... a time and place for that, too. It's not like yeah. we just went out and just did it. I mean, we actually set up – we were at festivals. We were at, like, martial arts festivals. There, Or it was at, like, even certain shopping days. Like, shopping centers would center off, like, an area for performances. So it was always, like, a pre-planned set-up thing. It wasn't like we just stood up in the middle of the bar and just started doing kata on each other, you know? Yeah. Well, it, and also, too, is is it, 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 it never looks as good as you think it looks. No. to the other person <laughs> that's the other problem too it's one of those things when you're doing you're like this looks awesome and the other pe- and then you watch it back like someone shot foot you're like oh yeah yeah that's uh, do you guys okay for those watching you have no idea how many clips i have filmed for b-roll for our episode when i played it back i'm like i look like that nope <laughs> deletes so it's like yeah it's, it's a perception of what there's there's what you feel like and what you think you look like and then what you actually look like so yeah showing off in public it, it doesn't come across probably as cool as you think it does yeah yeah because it also too is marsh yeah i don't know i mean besides some of the high kicks and stuff like that most martial arts not as thrilling as you think it is you know it's yeah yeah Armis23 says, in a lot of cases, the bigger the talk, the less the fight. That's true. And that comes with posture. A lot of people who posture are just trying to cause a deterrent. So this could be, you know, showing off martial arts could be a form of somebody's doing that, just trying to, their that, way of talking big, but they can't always back it up. True. But also, to, yeah. But also, too, is if you, if you also put it the other way, too, if you can, if you can prevent um, or de-escalate a situation by showing off your martial arts skills, you know, yeah. yeah yeah you know that that's always that that is definitely something there you know if you know if you if you um do something where you know i don't, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that you know and, you know the people then are no longer like oh okay let's let's get get into a fight you know that's mm-hmm. a that's a win <laughs> yeah that's a win that's yeah. a, that's that's definitely a win Especially if you can, you know, do something where you get them where they're more interested into learning about the martial art than actually, you know, fighting. That's definitely a win. So. Oh, absolutely. 
Uh, no. the, the guys that worry me are the ones who are, are quiet and you you can kind of you can kind of see them take a stance that's passive that they'll turn their center line away you see that their foot their feet are balanced and pointed and their hands might be like hey man or they're up whatever like that's a person that and then they're quiet that's a person that's might know something or at the very most at the very least you shouldn't assume they don't those concern me more than people who are so boisterous and just showing off look what i could do because i don't know a little bit about the unknown is like not knowing what that person knows is a little bit scarier than showing off because when you're showing off and there's someone there who might actually want to fight you you're basically showing them your technique you're kind of giving them some tells true yeah so there's definitely a risk with that yeah Uh, no that is definitely true is yeah you gotta be careful (laughs) but there's always less is more i always say all right, I have to read this comment. Michael says, I took a photo once for Kempo, and I was a white belt throwing a high kick, and I didn't have my cup on, so you can see the full X print of my dangly bits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole photo package is gone now. Yeah, we, we all have photos where we play back and like, yeah, whoops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> whoops. Not, not, and not as cool as I thought it was. No, the image that's up here is never translate. It comes out the same way. No, no. Oh. And, 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 and the moments when you're like, oh, that, that that was awesome. That's the cool moment. And you look back, you're like, oh. But yeah. then on the same point, too, though, is is um, I had a friend in, in uh, high school. And uh, it was one of those things where she, she had a picture taken of her. And she, I don't know what exactly stance she was doing. But she was doing just one stance. She didn't think of it. She made had this angry face on. But it's still one of the coolest little pictures she ever took of martial arts she just looked like such a like like such like a badass and and she's like wow i look awesome but you know at the time she just thought it was you know she just did one of the stupid little caught move and it wasn't anything spectacular but it looked awesome just happened to be one of those things so it works the other way too it does work the other way well there was actually when we were at spire one day and i was sensei alex and um we were actually talking about a kick and alex stood there and he let me throw a high kick just for a demonstration well somebody snapped a picture right at the same point in time and it looks like i'm nailing him like it's a beautiful photo it looked like i totally caught him off guard and he was he was gonna post go hey look what i did i'm like Alex was standing. He was letting me demonstrate something. Like I didn't catch him off guard. It, it looked cooler than what actually was going on. Yeah. But <laughs> and then there's the other side too. There's a few times too where something cool did happen. I was really excited to pull something off, and I go back and watch video later, and I was off camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like didn't no. Know it's oh. <laughs> I know in here. I know in here yeah. <laughs> it happened. So this clip is an excerpt from one of our recent Art of One Dojo live episodes in which we talked about the martial arts and whether or not they should be allowed or taught in the prison system. Now, I'm going to challenge you on this topic right here on your beliefs. Do you believe that the martial arts should be taught or should not be taught? We look at it from both angles. So you tell me what you think. Should the martial arts be allowed in prison?